Hi. Um, I just have a quick question. I was wondering if someone could help me with a quick Bible question. Okay. Is this a bad time? No, go ahead. Okay. It's kind of hard to hear you. I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's much better. Um, anyways, uh, it's about a certain verse um, John, from John 11. Um, do you wanna, okay. want me to just read it? Sure. Go ahead. Okay. It said, um, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even if he dies. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Jesus even said that. Do you believe this? And um, my question about that is, why are there so many verses that talk about having eternal life by faith in Christ and they don't really mention um, all these things you guys have to do with the Watchtower Society. They don't really mention everything that we have to do with the Watchtower Society. Yeah, I mean, um, Jesus said, "If you believe in Him, you you know that's putting your faith and trust in Christ. You will Christ. live, even if you die. And everyone who lives Christ. and believes in Me will never die." Do you believe this? He said. And, you know, especially in the Gospel of John and the Book of Romans and the epistles continue with this. Um, it makes that the essential um, of salvation is putting your faith and trust in Christ. Now, it it and those who are already believers are enjoined to do certain things, of course, you know. Uh, but right. as far as salvation and forgiveness of sins, um, it says that many times, like, for example, it doesn't say, um, come to Jehovah's organization for salvation in the Bible, Correct. as the literature says. Correct. So basically what it's saying that you have to exercise faith. So you have to believe it, but you also have to exercise faith. So you have to do things in order to, I want to say, prove that you believe in Jesus Christ and what he's saying. You have to do more than just believe it. Well, the Bible says that faith without works is dead. So, yes, yes, all Christians believe that. You can't, you know, there is such a thing as false faith or mental assent. But that's not really what I'm asking. I'm asking, why are there all these things uh, for salvation that involve the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society? How were people saved before that? Were they saved if they put their faith and trust in Christ, like Jesus Christ said here in John eleven? I mean, before before the Watchtower Society, they were they were doing what Jesus told them to do, like He told them to go out and make disciples. Who was That's something that came from Jesus? Who was what? You you said there was people doing what Jesus told them to do before the Watchtower. Yeah, they were like Christians, uh -huh. you know, like the disciples. <laughs> yeah, who, disciples I, I I can't think of any that would say. You have to come to our, you know, little group to for salvation. Right. I mean, who would you come to for I salvation don't. before the Watchtower? Right, but I don't, I don't understand where you where you see it says that you have to come to the watch to, to our group. Uh, they said, said they say come to come to Jehovah's organization for salvation. It says in the Watchtower. What Watchtower is this? Oh, the one come to, let's see, come to the Organization for Salvation. Um, well, there's one in Kingdom Ministry, November 1990. Um, and there's one, I know it's in a simplified edition that actually says come to, just just type in on the online yep. library in, in quote marks, come to Jehovah's Organization for Salvation. Okay, hold on. We're, Try I it. Got, I got to get something. Okay. Okay, I will. Okay. Hold on some of the elders in the congregation. It seems like you have a few questions. Oh, yeah. What what happened to that other really nice guy? Did he have to go? Well, he is the, he's the Zoom attendant. Oh, okay. In person, and also via Zoom. Oh. And he's keeping track of all the faces on the screen. So oh, okay. Well, you got to have somebody doing that for sure. Yeah. So yeah. I was sharing a scripture with him um, John, from John 11. I had a question about it. Um, it, where Jesus said, um, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even if he dies. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. 
do you believe this? So he's basically setting forth, which agrees with the whole rest of the New Testament, like in the epistles, the most essential, you know, the end of our forgiveness of sins and reconciliation with God is faith in Christ. And I was wondering why in the literature they add so many other things. Most, A lot of them have to do with the organization. Um, and I don't see Jesus really saying that anywhere. Like for forgiveness of sins, you have to affiliate with Jehovah's organization. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you have, you have to. What Jesus, it goes back to what Jesus started. Remember, you have the twelve apostles. Are you saying um, they're the equivalent of the twelve apostles? Is that what you're no, saying? I'm just saying? Oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm oh, saying okay. Go back to what Jesus started. Yeah. And he started the twelve apostles, and then as much as they didn't like it, and it was very just sad thing that they, he had to leave them to sacrifice his life for all mankind, which he did. But then he was resurrected and he visited them again. And remember when he met about 500 of them? There was all the eyewitnesses. Mm-hmm. And then in Pentecost, there was 120 in the room. So they were growing. And then in the sure. accounts after the Gospels go into the Book of Acts of how Christianity just kept growing and growing. At Pentecost, it was a festival of Jews, but by that, they were scattered across all of Asia and other places, but they would come together annually. So it was wonderful that the Holy Spirit allowed the apostles to speak different languages because then they took it from there and went to the known parts of the world. It just kept growing and growing, and they kept being organized. And that's when you get into other scriptures, and you saw Acts, how the blood issue came up, and or the circumcision came up, some of the Christians who were formerly Jews, they had questions, and then the apostles had to make decisions and then send those out to the other Christians to remember that, how that kind of worked out. Yeah, but the thing is, they really weren't called governing bodies. Some Jehovah's Witnesses actually believe the words governing body are in the Bible. And I th- when I read about how they are trying to equate themselves with that, um, they, they actually do that. They kind of make you think gover- the words governing body is in the Bible. Um, it's even in these well, study that's, that's Bible true. notes. It's very misleading. It's that's not It's not parallel it's to not that in any way. There was still a po- living it's apostles at that time who were doing validating signs and miracles. That's, that is all true. You got to remember the, the, the Bibles that we carry in our hands, the translations, they didn't speak English back then. So the Greek word meant it. It just meant there was a body of, of men that God was using, Jesus was using, to help keep things organized so that everybody everywhere spoke the same way. So unity was so important. That's all that was. So in whatever language you most Because it's Italian. So it was a body that just was used to help make sure we were all on the same page back then. That's all that that means, really. Because the word, the word governing body does not appear there, isn't it, in the Bible? That, that's true. Whatever the Greek was, translated out to a group of men that Jesus was using, starting with the apostles. That's why he said so much to Peter about feed my sheep, feed my lambs before he, before he was resurrected. This was all the work he was going to do. Peter was so outspoken by nature, so Jesus knew he would be influential, but that's, that's another subject. So that's that's all. It's just words. But what they mean is what's important. I'm sure you would agree. Somebody had to be used to kind of help make decisions and make sure things were... Moving. They got well, it, one verse actually says the church was built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, and... You know, the Bible also says, you know, you know Jesus warned about false prophets. Um, yes. He warned against those who would say the time is at hand, and he said, don't follow them. I mean, one of your early books was called The Time is at Hand. <laughs> I just think that's funny. I mean, um, you know, the Bible says to test all things, um, but yet I don't really see in the Bible where I have to join the watchtower to get forgiveness of sins. Even in Acts, they were preaching the name of Jesus. If you look up the word name, they weren't preaching the name of Jehovah. I'm sure they knew what the Tetragrammaton was, but you know, in 1 Corinthians 1, it identifies Christians as those who call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is what we do. We really do. 
do that. I have never heard witnesses or the literature talk about calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That was, that was a parallel expression to call upon the name Yahweh in the old Testament. And then now in the new Testament in acts, the believers are calling upon the name of Jesus. Even Stephen prayed to Jesus as he was dying. And he said, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Now that, that may be the case. That prayer doesn't set precedent for all of us because oh. Jesus' Father is Jehovah God. And so Jesus has set, he even said that. When people try to praise him, make him king, he says, I'm just doing the will of my Father. And he even mentioned my, and made their name known to them and others. I know. He didn't really he seem to him. use the word Jehovah or even the Tetragrammaton. He always addressed if God had, the Father he as. the Hebrew scriptures. Okay. He <laughs> No, no, not only in your Bible, only in your Bible. And even if you look in your kingdom and your linear, it doesn't have, it doesn't have it. My Bible's not in Greek. The tetragrammaton would be there. Yeah, now that that's the whole thing about the divine name that that they rep- they put in. There's no Greek manuscripts of the New Testament that have it in there. So it, it was. There it's are just not. About seven thousand locations. Now you can deny that. That's, okay. that's I said gr- the, the, the new. I said the New there. Testament, and you know, I just wanted to share that with you because that's repeated. They are inserting themselves. You know, if you look at the plan, the salvation plan of Mormons, it's the same thing. They tell you things you have no, to do that I'm support the right organization. Now, Give us your name and number yeah, and you. I want you to be free. Have know what freedom in Christ is, and and faith alone. 